Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to another morning devotional. Indeed, a pleasure to be ministering to you in these fashions. And as always, we continue to pray God's richest blessings upon you and your families at this time. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, ascended far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. Mercifully give us faith to perceive that, according to his promise, he abides with his church on earth, even to the end of the ages. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. This morning's scripture reading comes from the Gospel of John, John chapter 16, reading verses 20 through 23. John chapter 16, beginning at the 20th verse. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, you will weep and mourn, but the world will rejoice. You will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. When a woman is in labor, she has pain, because her hour has come. But when her child is born, she no longer remembers the anguish because of the joy of having brought a human being in the world. So you have pain now. But I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. On that day, you will ask nothing of me. Very truly, I tell you, if you ask of anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ, our Lord. I speak to you now in the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. In looking at our scripture reading for today, we see that Jesus' words proves to be most comforting and, of course, very timely for us at this time. Jesus was summarizing the point of this Christian journey. That yes, we are called to suffer now, but the reward to come will bring greater joy. It will surpass all pain and suffering that we are currently experiencing. Jesus compares this concept of pain and joy to a woman while in labor with a child. She feels great pain, but when the child is born, all that suffering and anguish is now forgotten because of how much joy the baby brings to their life. Many of us may be experiencing some sort of physical pain mental distress, or even have been emotionally broken and feel that the pain is becoming overwhelming, that it has been too long, rest assured that he is ever faithful and he is ever sure that he is working on us and he is working his purpose out in our lives. As we reflect upon this scripture and what Jesus is telling us today, be assured that through it all, we have learned to trust in Jesus. And in this, we are able to see the joy amidst the pain. I am the Reverend Deacon Scott Jupp, and may the Lord be with you.